CPHI Miss Exam Preparation Question and Answer Question number 41. The general purpose of a farm in healthcare environment is to A. Extract rough facts and figures B. Process data in some meaningful or useful manner C. Provide useful and simple messages D. Collect, process and or present data to the users Answer D. Collect, process, and or present data to the users. Question number 42. Serve as the central repository for all information about the database and function as a catalog for identifying the nature of all data in the system. A. Database b data dictionary c data model d data repository answer b data dictionary question number 43 request for information rfi is developed to screen for potential vendors when an organization is planning an information system implementation an RFI will a only be sent to select suppliers b be used to evaluate c formalize the process of bidding for project by potential vendors and d allow for widespread distribution of distribution and response Answer D. Allow for widespread distribution and response. Question number 44. Continuous evaluation, backup, upgrade and disaster planning are all part of which phase of SDLC? A. Analysis B. Planning C. Maintenance D. Implementation Answer C maintenance question number 45 in quality activities smart goals are established smarts mean a shared measurable acting reasoning and time frame b specific measurable actionable relevant and timely c specific measurable actionable risk analysis and timely and d specialized measurable actionable relevant and timely the correct answer is b specific measurable actionable relevant and timely question number 46 Implementing improvement to the process of meeting customer demand is known as in lean, methodo met lean methodology Zimba, Kaizen event, A. Zimba, B. Kaizen event, C. Value added work, and D. Value stream map. The right answer is B. Kaizen event. Question number 47. Every hospital has a unique set of features and health IT tools that they invested in. How is the curriculum established? A. Given dynamic change, A. Given dynamic changes in health IT world, curriculum can change at any time. B. Teaching is universal and content for onboarding is usually uniform. C. New digital toys should be brought on display for new providers. And D. Once you know which providers attend, content should be tailored to a fit. Answer A. 
given dynamic changes in the health IT world, curriculum can change at any time. Explanation. In the informatics and digital age, content changes as rapidly as technology advances. This is why you must be flexible in how you prepare onboarding. Question number 48. Two hospitals are merging and the executives are consolidating resources. However, there is no plan to merge the system immediately. There is an ERP, enterprise-wide resource planning system in one of the hospitals which has obsolete modules that is hindering operation and affect patient care. There is deadline to the merger and decision have to be made then. As a CEO, which of the following is the most important consideration would you make in light of the merger and deadline? A. RFI request for information has to be submitted immediately to vendors and develop a timeline with the mergers due to date announced. B. The RFI request for proposal has to be submitted immediately to vendors and develop a timeline with the merger due to date announced. C. Consult the hospital's legal counsel with regards to the decision for the systems. D. Staff work on this obsolete system immediately and have all staff use the other system implementing workaround in the process. Answer B. RFP request for proposal has to be submitted immediately to vendors and develop timeline with the merger due date merger due date announced. Question number forty nine. What is metadata? A the name given to the data found within relational database. B. A term given to data that provides information about other data. C. Used in data modeling. D. Contained within CSV file. Answer B. A term given to data that provides information about other data. Question number 50. The CIO, Chief Information Officer, has assembled a team to in the selection process to implement a Medicare Home Health Prospective Payment System HHPPS. What is the next thing the CIO should do? A. Form a change management team to plan for the transition. B. Distribute RFP as quickly as possible as an RFP takes time to process. Issue an RFI to narrow the selection of vendors candidates. D. Conduct a gap analysis of current operation and aligning with the organization's mission. Answer D. Conduct a gap analysis of current operations and aligning with organization missions.